Yes, back to us. So just what was it like being out there? You're not too far from American Top Team. Here you are, and you pretty much dominated this fight. But how did you feel about it? What do you think about being here and getting this big victory? It was uh, mixed feelings, you know what I mean? Like you're close to home, so it feels like another day. But you're also close to home, you're like, oh, it's just another day. Am I like, am I psyched up enough? You know, so you, you go through those mixed feelings all week. And then, but once you're in there, it's the same feeling every time, no matter where you are. Like everything else is white noise, if not silent. And it just, it's all good. <laughs> When you have the game plan and you're going through this, and obviously things can change, but pretty much what you wanted to do and what you thought you could do, is that how this played out? Yeah, you know, we, we weren't trying to muck around um, at like her range and, and all that there for too long. If we could avoid it entirely this time we could. Just to, you know, sometimes I start a bit slow, so we thought let's try and put the pressure on and mentally go in knowing we're not going to start like that and, and proving that I can do it more to, like, to myself, you know what I mean? So um, doing that today and out there, um, with Maria was like super important for me knowing that I can do that when I need to. Last one for me, just what it was like in the corner having all this Kayla stuff going, <laughs> Kayla one, Kayla two, was there a Kayla three? I mean, there, I think America Top Team is like the, the all the Kaylas go there. Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, I had KKC, Kansas City, and the city being Carlo. No, it's like, <laughs> for me, sorry about the cackle, I've got a goose over there. Um, <laughs> She's not meant to be eating, by the way. <laughs> um, no, having my having my three, um, you know, my like, you know, best friends, roommate, and Carlo has, you know, been my, basically a roommate overseas. He's a best friend of ten years now, and he's coached me since I didn't even know what a, you know, a rear naked choke was or what it sounded rude to me. So to have the three of them in my corner is like there's no level of thing that could make me you know, too nervous or too anxious, knowing that I have there, they know what to say, they know how I work, what, I, what makes me tick, and they know less is more in terms of talking as well. So, yeah, to, ha to a happy fight is like a dangerous fight, you know what I mean? And being with these three here makes me very happy. Michelle, congrats. Thanks, Elle. One question for me. Obviously, you, you said you didn't want to let Morelia get her range and get going. Mm. She was at American Top Team for a short time. I remember, did you see anything in your time that she was there that helped you get ready for this fight? Did you get to train with her much? Yeah, so the only trains I ever did that she was in and I was in together was uh, the Monday night striking class. And we often went together, um, I think because we're similar enough in size and that there. And I I remember striking with her in that class and obviously she's a better striker than me. That's, she's a Muay Thai girl in that there, but we I always had fun drilling with her. All I knew in my head was like, ah, why not find out? Just do what I do. <laughs> awesome, congrats. Thank you. Michelle, um, you've been killing it. You've been doing well throughout your career. Um, what do you want next? Is, do you want like a step up in competition, a step up in the fight card? Or, like, is there something that you want next? Uh, not bothered by who or where on the card. Like that sort of thing is what pays the bills and gets my heart going. So um, anyone they give me is who I'm going to fight. Uh, whether they put me in the season or not, whether they have a 45 or not, I, and Bellator or PFL, I think, that's where they can rely on is that I'll be consistent, I'll come through, I'll be ready to go, I'll make weight, and I'll fight whoever and it'll be exciting for, you know, at least half the side of the cage. Yeah. Would you like for them to bring back the 145 uh, season, or as you said, like, you know, you just want to fight and... Oh, I'm sure they'll bring it back, whether they put me in or not, that's another story, but, um, so they can do what they want with that there. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get fights, I've still got another year and a half of my contract with them, and, yeah, I'll slip in anywhere, I'm pretty sure, and I'll feel at home. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. How you doing, Michelle? Just one for me. You had her in multiple different compromising positions on the ground, but you know, six finishes, six RNCs. Is that something that you look for? Or is that just something that you have kind of the ace in your sleeve, where you know, you know, because she gave up her back immediately, you're in on it. Mm. Is that something that you're specifically going for, or you know, it just kind of happens to find you in the fight? If that makes any sense. Um, honestly, I think when I was first starting MMA, like I did countless jiu-jitsu tournaments and competitions and the same with wrestling at the same time so doing them at the same time as much as they can be you know detrimental to each other when you're learning um, I had good coaches around that separated the two for me so I got really good at controlling positions and and ending up with the back um, and especially when you're fight, fighting someone that's more of a striker they're gonna give you probably their neck or an arm at some point um, so yeah, I think I just find myself in a little nuggety, like farmer girl. Like I feel strong in those positions. So being able to get quite in the back, being able to um, get to those feels very comfortable to me. You know what I mean? I was a little nervous to go for the armbar and you know lay on my back because like guard's not my strongest suit. 
so getting on the back, I feel feel like it's only a matter of time until I get what I like. There's a mission I want from there. You know what I mean? Appreciate you. Thank you. Michelle, you really came through unscathed. When do you want to get back and do the ring? Um, I hear they're going to DC like next week or week after, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.